You're unhinged, Frank. You are. Oh. You think God made you a one-man firing squad? <laughs> well, you're poking the bear. <laughs> Don't poke the bear when you're tied to the tree, dude. <laughs> Greetings, fellow movie and TV lovers. Welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle. I'm a huge movie buff, and this is my channel where I react to mostly action and superhero movies that I've never seen before, but also other stuff that looks interesting or new. I started the channel so I could understand the inside jokes and references in WandaVision. I watched the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe, and here we are two years later still reacting. It's been a long time since I finished Daredevil Season 1, so it's definitely time to get back to it. I think I have a plan or like a theme for what I want to do this year. And so I want to focus on the what's called the Defenders series of TV shows. So Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, The Punisher. And then there's a general Defenders show. And then I guess there's one called Iron Fist as well. Um, I've never heard of that one, but they're all up on Disney+. Plus and I've got the list of chronological order of the shows. So we'll get them in the right order. Daredevil season one and Jessica Jones season one are already up on the channel. So the next step is more Daredevil, which is great because I love Charlie Cox. I thought this was important too, though, because they're currently, as you probably know, working on the new Daredevil series. And I really want to be prepared for it when it comes out and know what I should be comparing it to because I feel like that's going to be a real indication of where they're taking the MCU as a whole kind of in the next few years. One of the things I liked about both the Daredevil and Jessica Jones episodes that I've seen so far has been like the darkness, the reality of the violence, the darkness of the world. And like the length of time they took to grow the characters and develop the stories. So I'm really curious if they're going to be willing to take the MCU out of the fantasy land kind of and into that darkness. Or if they're going to just change the tone of Daredevil to match the rest of the MCU. So yeah, because right, right now these shows feel very different to me than the MCU as a whole. And I've been looking at the movies that came out. I find it really interesting that these were kind of made parallel to these shows. I thought these shows were older, but they're really just it right in line with the MCU. And so I've been looking at the movies that came out at the same time as some of these series. So I'll be able to see kind of how they compare to what was being done on the shows. And this season of Daredevil has an 81% and an 89% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. So it was clearly well received. I really liked the first season and I'm excited to get back to it. So before we get started, please like, subscribe, leave comments, do all the things. It really does help the channel and make sure to let me know what you would like me to react to next. All right, let's dive into Daredevil season two. Temperatures in the New York area as 100 degree weather hits its fifth consecutive day with no end in sight. Yeah, it's, things always pop off when it gets hot. Oh, he must be like up on the roof listening. Okay, that's. I should have, I should have like looked at a synopsis of how, what happened in the last episode, but I think I'll remember because it's. I know it's about Fisk and there's a big, the big fight at the end. I remember that. <laughs> Oh, and it's like randomly shooting at them at the on the street. Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, you got one. <laughs> he kind of looks like that. Look how kind of looks like Charlie Cox. If they were smart, they'd stop running, turn off their, take off their masks and like go and sit down at the, at a table in the restaurant and eat something. Oh. <laughs> I saw a video, there was a video of some guys stealing from a, a, a Asian convenience store and like the, them like uh, beating him with a, a broomstick and a thing. it's like, yeah, you get him. Yeah, he coming. He looks very sexy in his whole suit. That's very cool looking. Is this what the intro to the first season looked like? Cause that's very, it was like the drippy. 
That's cool. What, do you go back to the gym? Hell no. Do I look capable of making healthy life choices? <laughs> yeah. Mm. One and done. <laughs> End of the night, she hugged me like a cousin and said, I'll call you. Ugh. Hugged me like a cousin? How does a cousin hug? Does it mean it's a hug instead of a kiss? No one's going to notice if that's what you mean. Thank you. I hate this. We don't need to talk about it. Good thinking. Yeah, does he know? I can't remember if he, does he know that he's Daredevil? I can't remember. <laughs> it's hard. Well, it's more plausible than you put on a devil suit. Okay, so he does know. Okay. You recommended an excellent shelter for battered women. Did she want? Yeah, she tried. Yeah, she tried. Her husband found out she wanted to leave him, and he followed her to the bus stop with a gut full of beer and a butcher knife in his hand. That's pretty much how it happens. Come on, let's get to work. Hey, I could get out of this heat. Yeah, hopefully they have air conditioning in their office. Which doesn't look like they do. That's a box, like the window fan. He was viciously beaten by his neighbor after the dog um, defiled the neighbor's statue of St. Francis. Defiled? Humped repeatedly until completion. Or they say, peed on it or humped it? Bananas are from Mr. Tate, payment for that fender bender thing. And for you, strawberry rhubarb. Nice. Thinking people with pastries, I think it's, it's a fun idea. Pastries and, and fruit. <laughs> yeah, and fans. <laughs> Portable electric fans. Yes. To get a portable electric air conditioner is what you should get. So do we get to meet a villain now? You gotta be popping up here pretty soon. You miserable mutt. Where was all that fight 10 minutes ago? Is this a dog fighting ring? That's not good. Poor baby. A night to discuss the future of our family. The gratitude we feel for the support of his father. Mm -hmm. Who's the father then? What is with that pocket square? That let's fold that properly, dude. Oh, here we go. No, I thought somebody was gonna punch him out uh, from behind. Maybe even deign to work for him, siding against their own kind. Oh. And make hell's kitchen ours again. Oh, he was gonna kill that guy. Not the redhead who was working for Fisk. Okay. It's like the Godfather. <laughs> Don't stick your head up, dude. They're gonna get you. As they ain't gone. <laughs> really? <laughs> No, you don't want yeah, to do you that. you can't drink the water here. Yeah, Josie's pipes have well, issues. Okay. <laughs> Ew. Pretend you're abroad, on vacation someplace exotic, but no mojitos. Josie just throws mint in the beer. Oh, right. <laughs> she just throws mint in the beer? Oh, no. How'd I, how'd I do? Well, you've got potential. All right. Here again. They're rather physical with each other. Kind of defeats the purpose of your moving the ball. <laughs> Coat, hot room. I don't need fancy senses to know he's probably packing. Yeah. Yeah, bring the cue with you. <laughs> Pull cue with you. That could come in handy. Nelson and Murdoch. You must be the blind one. I think that's a fair assumption, yeah. 50 men, tough Irish, armed. All them blown away. Oh, that was the guy that flipped over the thing. Okay. Leader, I'm telling you, we were hit by an army. It was probably just one guy, but yeah. <laughs> if you're the only one who survives, your good fortune's gonna rub some dangerous people the wrong way. No shit. Yeah, he's probably got a target on his back. Witness protection. You guys need to get the hell out of here before I end up in the only place hotter than. Well, they're lawyers. How are they? How can they be like witness protection for him? Okay, but they, he just broke a glass, and now she's like on her knees. I might think we've seen it all. Hell's Kitchen manages to. <laughs> they have it laid on its side. What was that? And where's this asshole's hand? Oh, interesting. That we didn't see that happen. What do they want with a hand? Or whoever this person is, I assume it's possibly the Punisher dude. We had a couple of questions, right? If you hear to chase ambulances, you might notice there are none. <laughs> yeah, nobody's getting arrested right now. Else. We're not everybody else, my man. My man. Did you 
Don't do that. Say, my man. Yeah, don't do that. What kind of bullet can punch through polyethylene fiber vest thick in my dick and uh -huh. punch straight through the same shit on his back? Interesting. And if that was true, hypothetically speaking, yes, I'd tell just you hypothetically. that withholding your client from the NYPD would be obstructing governmental administration. Is it really though? I don't think it. I don't think that's true. <laughs> we don't know who they are. We just know who they're not. I'd say they're definitely not fond of the Irish. You think? Hmm, interesting. The morgue's completely full. This is worse than what happened to the dogs of hell. Dogs of hell, hmm. That's another group. Did you even listen to Brett? We're talking about a squad of trained killers loose on the streets. <laughs> a squad or a guy? You're a lot of things. Bulletproof <laughs> is not one of them. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, the suit is bulletproof, isn't it? Oh, but maybe not to these bullets. I have a guy I can talk to. Maybe come back with a few puzzle pieces. Cool. Just be careful. You don't get to say that. <laughs> you don't get to say it. No semis, no deal. Man, I seen you shoot. No semis gonna magically make you have good aim. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh. Ouch. 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 That would hurt. Nice yeah, that suit does look kind of uncomfortable, I gotta say. Got all this glass I gotta replace now. Maybe just let a brother go, huh? <laughs> yeah, take it easy on me, will ya? Come on, D. <laughs> D. Yeah, definitely don't wear a tie to the biker bar. <laughs> get lost to get hurt. I feel like I've seen that guy before. Uh oh, <laughs> now they're locked in there. That's not a good idea. Says he's here to see Smitty. Do we know Smitty? Have we seen Smitty before? That name, the name sounds familiar. I'm not a cop, okay? Ah! You're fed. a lawyer. Ah! <laughs> they probably don't like lawyers anymore than they like cops or feds. There's a lot of meat just sitting out there. Oh. Okay. You. Oh, there's more. I didn't even see the guys on the right. I was just looking at the guy on the left. Okay. Are these the cartel guys? So the guy already got to them or whoever this is already got to them. Oh, somebody's still alive. Oh, it's through his shoulder. Ouch, that would, that would hurt. People who both you and I care about are gonna get hurt and you don't seem like the most sentimental guy, but. <laughs> That's true enough. I always knew that they will come for me. Oh. <laughs> I will be dead first. Well, that, yeah, it's kind of an important detail. No, they, him. Yeah, it's just one. They keep they keep going on about like it's an army, it's a big group of all you know all people. But now it's really it's just one guy. <laughs> I know who that is. So I I, I know him from uh, Walking Dead. <laughs> that was quick. Probably not a good idea to like run right in front of him. <laughs> you could just wait until he passed. It looked like he was going to pass. How does he have that kind of view? Oh, he's up on the. He went up on the roof. Oh, okay. Ah, uh oh. Did knock him out? Oh, but it left him alive. Okay. Maybe if he didn't yell, he wouldn't have known that he, you were jumping on top of him. But he had a good, pretty good warning there with the yell. Uh oh, uh oh. Bang. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> that's the end of the episode. Okay. <laughs> Definitely watch the next episode. So this is episode two, Dogs to a Gunfight. 
accurate. They're always there after the fact, picking up all the pieces. And Mitchell General, when a lone gunman entered and began firing into the crowd. Into the crowd? Where's the crowd at, at a hospital? <laughs> so yeah, where did he fall down to? Did he have to run to the roof of like every building <laughs> right nearby? You some kind of idiot? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You don't look good. Uh-oh. Oh, well, he's moving. Okay. What did he get shot with? Did he? Did it actually, like, penetrate the suit? Okay. Oh, did it get hit in the head? It doesn't look like there's any bullet holes anywhere important, so... I went to the hospital. I saw what he did. Where's Karen? We've been through this. They talked about this already? <laughs> you can't remember? Except the shooter, he's still walking the streets of Hell's Kitchen. He's the cop's problem now. He's gonna plow right through the cops. <laughs> yeah, he probably is. Better yet? Yeah, you're not, no, you're not taking the suit, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. And for now, let the NYPD and the DA do their jobs. Uh, I don't think they're gonna, <laughs> I don't think they're gonna do their jobs very well. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling that fight from him. You don't seem rattled. I tried to blow your head off, you ain't scared. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. You told us the Irish were attacked by a whole gang of guys. I'm pretty sure the word you used was army. <laughs> yeah. Now hearing this is all being done by one man. Look, I didn't know you guys were. Who does he work for? I got no idea. But what? I didn't know you guys well enough, so he... Oh, so he knows who, more about this then. Daredevil kicks ass this whole city cheers like we just won the World Series. But this guy, he does it. The streets get bloody. Makes everybody stop and think twice about the whole hero proposition. And there's, there. I'm guessing that's the show from what I've read. Like, that's the whole thing, the whole argument here. No, it's not the first. It's just the latest. Yeah, we call them devil worshippers. Oh, interesting. All my years on the force, I've never seen anything like him. So he had a lot of information about him too. Okay. I thought there was going to be some big reveal that it wasn't a gang and, and it was what just one guy, but. Oh. Is there something in the water? Does he still have a bullet in his head? Oh, is, he is his hearing messed up? It's like super. Uh-oh. Oh dear. If he doesn't have his hearing, it would, oh my God. Did he lose his, lose his hearing completely for a while? Hopefully for, for a while. That would be terrifying. Oh my goodness. You'll be fine. They're the ones that brought him growth. Uh, Franklin Nelson of Nelson and Murdoch. This is my... <laughs> Who just <laughs> looks, what, she just looks at his hand and doesn't shake it? Like, what? Grotto is our client. And it would be in Mr. Grove's best interest for you to recuse yourselves so he can bring in a legal team with more expertise. Well, I don't think it works that way. I think you have to, <laughs> I think you let the person decide who their lawyer is. Now, if we're through. Yeah, we're not, actually. AKA the feds who are probably just as douchey as you are, but at least they can deliver on their promises. <laughs> yeah, nice. Good line. To put it in layman's terms, cut the shit, lady. You're dealing with us. <laughs> so he actually is a pretty good lawyer. I think we determined that in the season one, that both of them are good lawyers. But And if any of his intended marks are lucky enough to escape? Say they're off buying a sandwich or in bed with the flu. Does he track them down? But our intelligence people are close to completing a profile. A profile? Even got a code name. I just want to give Foggy a haircut. Like, um, dude, you're a professional lawyer. Like, can we get you a decent haircut? The Punisher. Oh, they're calling him. Okay. A PD mobile communications rig. One that gets encrypted tactical frequencies. What do I look like? Radio chef? Oh, no, we've, that's the first time we heard his voice, basically. He's got it just right there. Data officer McDipshit's dashboard. <laughs> get your tactical bands. Oh, he's got a swastika on his neck. That's fabulous. What about the double barrel under the counter? Is he like getting rid of anything that, of the evidence and now he's going to kill him? Back door, grannies, <laughs> or maybe you're in the market for something younger. I don't she think he needs 12. any porn. 
Oh. Uh oh. For a hundred bucks, she's all yours. And he knocks the door. That's my man. Here we go. <laughs> So, I'm assuming he has some morals there. And that, uh, oh, it's Potbelly across the street, though. Yum. I, I'm just trying to make a buck. Not with that, you're not. And yes, we very much appreciate the kimchi. <laughs> he brought him kimchi. Overdue. Has to. Yeah, they need to figure out a some kind of case to make some money. Yeah. Sure, just a nickname. Yeah, well, what if I deserve it? What are you talking about? Nothing. Just... Did, did she kill that guy? I can't remember all the details of that, but I do remember vaguely. And plus, you got away, which kind of makes you awesome. <laughs> kind of does. Uh oh, it's back. Okay. Yeah, that would be that would be really scary. Hey. Sorry, you still startled me. I... Wait, didn't he have a bloody nose? Uh, it's not what it looks like. Is he going to tell her that he's basically lost his hearing for however many minutes? Walked into a door. Uh, you know, I'm blind. I mean, but... You know that I'm not an idiot. Okay, so she doesn't know. Wasn't Tabascus in the warmth of her personality, I can tell you that. Yeah, Reyes wouldn't buy a pack of gum if it didn't move her political career <laughs> forward. <laughs> Good to know. Hey, movie lovers, just want to take a very brief intermission to tell you that there are full-length versions of a bunch of my reactions over on Patreon, as well as exclusive reactions that haven't been published on YouTube, and polls. If you'd like to choose what I react to or watch the entire movie along with me, hop over there and check it out. Okay, let's get back to the movie. Uh, the Punisher? No. I think he was inevitable. Oh, interesting. Daredevil practiced vigilante justice in our backyard, and we applauded him. It. I know that I did. That is a good point. I'm, get, I'm getting the theme of the, the things going on here, yeah. Well, I don't see it. Not anymore. Yeah. Well, Daredevil never killed anyone. Well, not that we know of. Did Daredevil not kill anybody? I think Daredevil killed a lot. Did he? He killed a lot of bad guys, but <laughs> still. They might have had kids. Thank you for coming around. Wait, Matt, I am... Um... She didn't have a purse or anything? In one inch in either direction, your face would be spaghetti. And look at that shop placement. Yeah. Talk about getting your bell rung. Can you fix it or not? Yeah, that's it. I'd say he did get his, probably got his bell rung pretty good. She didn't follow you here? I would never allow that to happen. Okay, it's just she'd never allow yourself to be shot in the head before. Give you my word. That's a good point. <laughs> I thought that's what you wanted me to do. We keep each other safe, don't we? Isn't that our deal? Yeah, just do your best, moment. Okay. Yeah, you gotta do what you can for now, I guess. <laughs> you sure you're ready to go out again? Mm. Oh, I look ready. No. <laughs> you really don't, dude. Oh. Oh, that's him. Okay, I was like, is that him or is that John Bernthal's character? So I'm curious what the name of the guy actually is and like what his backstory is. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Yikes. And the cops just left it there. So I read something somewhere that there aren't really alleyways in New York very much. Like they're not as common as, oh, hair. Interesting. They're not as common as you'd think that they are or as they're shown on in movies and stuff. But I'll have to look up if that's true or not. I don't know. Oh, is he going to be able to follow a, like a blood trail? Oh, so somebody got a shot out, out of him. Somebody did draw blood. Oh, no. And now they're cleaning off the shit. Okay. <laughs> That's inconvenient. Did literally just track him? Is, that, is it that easy? Okay, that hallway looks kind of familiar. Is that the hallway from the from the kid in the first was that the first two episodes? First, I mean the second episode of the first season? Somebody's listening to the police scanner, so he took the dog and gave him a Oh put a little bandage on him and everything. Uh, Definitely military, okay. 
Uh, everything's sitting out. It's very untidy. I'm used to things, uh, you know, military guys being very just so. But sometimes I suppose it's a post-military rebellion to get to be messy after you leave the military, maybe. Oh. <laughs> Maybe take the headphones off, dude. Nope. Goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay, they, I think they missed an, an opportunity to make that the first full view that you got of him. Because that was a great shot. <laughs> they should have, like, couched the first episode a little, or the, the, was it this episode where he was in the store? They should have, like, maybe not shown his face so much, or, it, but that, that would have been a very cool first view of his, of his face. Come on, just carry a video camera with me and go to boom mic. Relax, Grotto, you'll be fine. She always says that, oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Nobody's ever fine in this show. This is not a deal you walk away from. Not alive, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When Fisk went away, so did a lot of corrupt cops. No one's palms are getting greased anymore. We're getting you out. She doesn't know that. She says a lot of stuff that she doesn't have any idea that that whether that's not it's true. Grotto, this is your second chance. Just don't say anything incriminating. You'll be fine. Just don't say anything incriminating. Oh, I'm kidding. You're covered. That's why kidding? we're kidding. Maybe it's not. It's not a time the to. The other kid. guy do all the talking. Who wrote this episode? I don't like. I don't like the dialogue in this episode. Let me tell you, I hate Florida. Only about a thousand times. I wouldn't want to move to Florida either. Is that how he usually dresses? Like, why would you make the shirt white if it's like wires underneath? You think you'd give him like a jacket or something? I suppose it's hot, though. It's not. Yeah, he doesn't need a jacket. But he'd probably just be in like a t-shirt or something. I don't know. He doesn't seem like a button-up kind of guy. It's me, Grotto. Cut the spook act and say something already. Oh, is the Punisher going to get him now with that and all this? Now that he's out in the open? I suppose. It's Let's get this done. I got places I got to be tonight. Yeah, he's not going to walk out of that. Anymore. Probably just interference from the middle of the shipping crate. Most likely, ma'am, we'll uh, try adjusting the gain on it. Yeah, that's going to work. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Positions, check in by the numbers. What exactly is an overwatch what? position? Let the police do their job. Are they using him as for bait? You're using my client as bait for yeah. the Punisher? Probably <laughs> the first useful thing your client's ever done in his life. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun suing you. Yeah. I say, I don't think you just get <laughs> to just do that. Yeah, is there, is he, is any, is it a real person even in there that they're shooting at? Oh, that's the, that's the truck. Okay. Hands in the air now. <laughs> they really think that they got him. It's not him. It's a diversion. Target's still out there. Yeah, dumbasses. Bastard knew it was a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that <laughs> every single time now. It's gonna be a trap. There's, like, there's so many traps in these uh, shows that it's become a thing now. It's in my head. So it's kind of nice, like he doesn't have a uh, an outfit or a. Uh, they, like, it's just like, he's just up there in his jeans and a jacket. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's water all over the place. Good slow-mo. Good slow-mo. Very sexy. Target acquired. You know what to do. Negative. We do not, I repeat, we do not have a clean target. No, we don't know what to do. <laughs> no. Take the shot. Repeat. Take the shot. Well, regular bullet, though, he should be all right. Oh, but the helmet's not, the helmet's not solid. Oh, damn it. Did he already get one? Did, did he, is he already bleeding because of the helmet? Oh, one got in. All right, well, at least they're out of out of range here. Yeah, ow. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. 
I want to see these guys too. Like two, two of these guys have these two have a discussion or something. Like, <laughs> let's have a chat. <laughs> let's talk this out and see how it goes. <laughs> He's probably thinking like I'm killing bad guys just like you, dude. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Now is not a good time for that. All right then. Now, I, uh, now that now we're gonna get them to get them talking to each other, which I'm really because there's two they're two great actors. I'm really like, yeah. Is it, is he having flashbacks to when he was a kid, or is it? Yeah, oh, Maddie. Yeah, he said. <laughs> That's a pretty bloody crucifix. My goodness. I don't, I don't think any of the... Oh dear, that's... Yeah, that's pretty bloody. Uh, I don't know that any of the crucifixes that I grew up with in churches had and that any blood all over them. I don't think so. Oh! What's he tied to? Yeah, I was say, he's, he's sitting there waiting. Morning, sunshine. Hmm, can he hear it all? Oh, dear. <laughs> you're too bad, sweetheart. Nice try, but you think you're so smart. You're not smarter than these guys. Oh, and his hands are like taped to the steering wheel. <laughs> you used our client for bait. Oh, that's a pretty big allegation. Allegation? Look around, this was a shit show. He could have died. Yeah, it was kind of a shit show. What? Say that story goes public. The story yeah, that your incompetence that's not endangered cool. the life of your client. Do they have the same necklace on? That's like two rings connected? I'm gonna call Matt now. Let's see if he's recuperated enough to help us out. <laughs> no, I don't think he has. You say you don't need a bullet that gets you. What's up with those chains that he can't get free of them? Though he usually <laughs> get free of that kind of stuff, but. Why didn't you take my mask off? Don't give a shit about who you are. Oh, interesting. Ow. Huh? <laughs> He's just not like gentle with himself at all. Like... Okay. She's busy. Well, could you just point me in the right direction? Are you injured? No. You wanna be? <laughs> I like her. The last thing I need is for you to come back here in two weeks. Ask oh, there she is. I was wondering if she was going to show up. We're at war, lady. Listen to me. Now you have two. You had five. Now, now two. two. Your fault. That clear? So, uh, what's with the hand? Like, again, with the hands. What's up with that? Fucking else. We have a mutual friend. Remember me? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Vaguely. Prado, where are you? Like I tell you, shit after what went down. Fair enough. Yeah, I'd be pissed too. We can go back to her. We can we can lock in witness protection. Don't make a deal, sweetheart. I've got my own plan now. Yeah, I don't think I'd do anything with the DA anymore. She clearly doesn't know what's going on. Six months, a year, for your whole life. Someone tells me you don't take breaks. Yeah, he doesn't look like a guy who worries about relaxing and having a beer and watching a movie or something, you know? Walk away. Did you do that? Did you walk away? No, he did not. You still go to mass? Stop now, Red. Stop. Stop digging. Yeah, don't, don't, you're not gonna find a connection with me, dude. Where'd they send you? You shrink Red. <laughs> it's kind of cute that he calls him Red. <laughs> Never been to war. Does he know that he's blind, I wonder? It wasn't you who did those things. Maybe it was somebody else. It was he soldiers? We don't wear masks, yeah? Maybe, so that's why he doesn't have a have an outfit. You're still at war. No, for crying out loud. So you charged by the hour, Doc, or what? <laughs> Red, you believe that? I believe it's not my call, and it ain't yours either. Somebody asked you to put on that costume, or you take it upon yourself? Good question, yeah. <laughs> you know you're one bad day away from being me. Hmm, interesting. Someone's coming. Shit. Guess I better make a run for it. <laughs> Does he have a partner? You make one sound and I'll open his head up all over this roof. <laughs> all 
I believe you. I'm looking for a certain mutual friend of ours. All right, careful, bitch. Oh, <laughs> you call the nurse sewing you up a bitch, you? Mm. Mm. Well, you know, our friend is fond of extreme sports. <laughs> extreme sports. I've got this shift from hell because I helped another friend trying to do good. Big guy, stronger than our friend. What? Does she know him? The Punisher guy? Okay, uh, that's not good. Can he just strong arm it? Hey, Marie. Yeah. Simplify. <laughs> Is he actually a Marine? Frank. That's your real name? Or is it? Yeah, I don't really have to spell it out for you, Red, huh? <laughs> what does he need a wrench for? You want to explain that to the orphans and the widows of the men you kill? Shit, that's what you think. <sighs> you act like it's a playground. You beat up the bullies with your fists, you throw them in I feel like they shouldn't be hollering at each other, though. You ever doubt yourself, Frank? Not even for a second. Really? Really? You never think for one- This is like the whole, like, Superman argument, too, of like, do you kill the bad guy? Do you not kill the bad guy? I mean, I think anybody who watched the channel knows that I'm like solidly down on the kill the bad guy side, but as long as they're actually bad guys. Come on, Frank, my Santa Claus. You want to talk about Santa Claus? I live in the real world, yeah. too, and I've seen it. What have you seen? Redemption, Frank. No. It's real, and it's possible. Who is he redeemed, though? Like, who? Uh, have we seen the whole, like, anybody who's been redeemed, really? You're unhinged, Frank. You are. Oh. Made you a one man firing squad. <laughs> While well, you're poking the bear. <laughs> Don't poke the bear when you're tied to the tree, dude. <laughs> because you're insane. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Yeah. I'm not surprised that that happened because <laughs> he is tied to the tree. <laughs> or, yeah, the bricks, but chimney. You're talking about him like he's a, a lost puppy. Mr. Grote is a convicted criminal, and lucky we gave him the time of day. <laughs> well, he is a citizen of this country. He has a right. <laughs> he has legal rights, and you have to do your job properly, dude. She could also take down someone like you. Hmm? What's she got on him? Nicole Kant got booted from your office after she failed to quiet the ensign scandal. Ah. I am here to show you that you and Reyes are not on the same team. Mm, that's true enough. It's a good tactic, though. Like if you're trying to take up, take on some cops, is to divide them, divide and conquer. You have information on the Punisher. That's classified. Do I look like I'm gonna post it on YouTube? So he's a local DA, like right? He's not. Is he the FBI? Because things are really classified. Like he can't. The things aren't shouldn't be classified. <laughs> like what? Is it classified like a federal thing? I got a hunch you got more mug shots than baby pictures back home. Well, who are you? I'm the that's pro good, bono suit line. you'll try More mug shots than baby pictures. That's interesting. In front of these witnesses, with cops right outside, you're screwed. I can't just walk away, man. Yes, you can. Put them down. Let these people do their jobs. <laughs> Foggy can pull, a, pull out a demanding little uh, speech that when he needs to. 357. One round in the chamber. Oh. Some things he just... I feel right in your hand, huh? He's not gonna do that, no. <laughs> he doesn't know him well enough. The only way you stop me is with the headshot. I'm not gonna shoot you. Yeah. You see it? You hear me? I don't understand these animals. You can't back out. Just shut up. Yeah, like once you're in, you're kind of, you're like, you're kind of forced to do what they say. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know the old lady was in the house. I killed more than one, yeah. Old lady left her husband. Dead man, wife, and kids. You gotta understand me. I had to do it. I mean, he has to know that they kill innocent people. Like, that. The kind I'm gonna make right now. Ah! 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 Oh, that was smart. Oh, shot him anyway. What's he doing? Oh, what was his end game there to get them all outside and then pick them all off one by one? <laughs> get that thing off your hand because that's not a very useful thing to have your hand stuck with a gun in it. 
Oh. These are very quiet footsteps, I gotta say. I'm good. I was gonna say, I only had one. <laughs> there was only one bullet in there. Oh, and uh, he likes his hallway fights. <laughs> I'm gonna get done with these guys and go back to the elevator and the Punisher's gonna, Frank's gonna be gone. I was gonna guy say he could easily kill somebody in the process of this. Like they're not all gonna survive. But yeah, didn't he kill the guy in that one scene in the in the warehouse where you're like looking at it from really far away? And was he an, the Asian guy that was like a ninja? He, he killed that guy, right? Because didn't he end up like being set on fire somehow or something? I. There are more of them. <laughs> are we doing the, are we doing more? <laughs> and so you're telling me none of these guys have guns? Ow. Oh, I was gonna say, is he is Frank gonna wake up and help him out? Oh, Frank's gone. Oh, yeah. Okay, still out there. Got away. That looks like a very uncomfortable way to sit and try to. Oh, Frank Castle. So that's him. Okay. He has a head injury. Why is that important? I guess we'll find out next time. <laughs> All right. Goodness. So that's a lot. <laughs> Very interesting, though. I'm cur very curious to see what what happens. 